What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Trey here back with another video, and today we're going to be starting a brand new series in NHL 22. Today we're going to be simming a 5 year franchise mode series, and I picked the team, we're going to be doing the Columbus Blue Jackets, so it should be a fun one. The reason I want to do them again, of course, they brought, they signed a big free agent, they signed the one the only Johnny Gaudreau so I really wanted to see how him and imagine like Patrick Liney would do on the first line you know they're not the best team in the league by the looks but I feel like I could make out this team make it better so I'm gonna be making trades <clears throat> and signings I'm gonna be the GM for the next five years of the Columbus Blue Jackets and if you guys really like this series I'll definitely do another one and I also wanted to wait for the Kadri signing Again, he signed with the Calgary Flames. So, Kadri is on the Flames for this franchise most years. I was just waiting for him to do one, and it was perfect time. He just got one. So, here we go. Salary, Captain Computer, Trades. That's all I really need to keep on. I'll show you guys all the rules and the settings, and then we'll hop right into it. I'm really excited to start this series. Should be a fun one. Again, full sim. Injuries, I'm going to turn off. Period length, 20 minutes. Um, franchise mode like five years and if again if you guys want another one and you guys want it to be longer I could do like a 10 year or even a 15 year if you guys really want one but five years difficulty on superstar and everything other than that I think that's pretty much it so those are all the really the settings I mess with I don't touch anything else but yeah let's start the career with the Columbus Blue Jackets so guys, here are the Jackets lines before I'm touching anything, making any signings or trades. First line, they have Gaudreau, Ross, Levick, Line. Second line, they have Vorchek, Sillinger, Texier. Third line, Johnson, Jenner, Nykvist. And then fourth, they have Oliver, Corrali, Robinson. Defense, they have Wierenski, Goodbranson, Volkvist, Grabberkov, Bean, and Kukin. And goaltenders, they got Merz Lincolns and Corpusalo backing them up. Backing him up. Special teams, this is what they have to start with. First unit, they got Gaudreau, Roslevic, Line, Bulkfist, Wierenski. Second, they got Vorchek, Sillinger, Nykvist, Jenner, and Bean. So that's what they have for their all their um lines to start off before making any trades or anything. So, guys, I think I'm going to try to make any signing. So I'm going to go to free agency. Let's see who the top players are in free agency. So, again... Pretty much everyone already signs. So, yeah, Yan Yankelski is the best player. Sort of by potential. See if there's any steals. Wow, a medium elite. You're off 1770 medium elite. You're kidding. He must be an RFA, but, like, we, I don't think it would be anything, right? Three years he gets cheaper. I'm willing to give him 925k for three years. They're probably going to offer sheet, but we'll, might as well give it an attempt. Uh, Jokinen, he's 60 over. I don't, really don't think he's going to grow much. So there's really no one in for agency other than that year off guy. We could go like a guy like Gankowski, but I don't know. We kind of do need like a fourth line right winger because like it was like a 60 overall or something. So like we could sign Josh Hosang to be our fourth line right winger. Well, we'll, we'll give him a chance. He wants a two-way deal. We'll do three years at... 850k so those are the two guys we signed i'll get you guys back if they want if they sign with us and guys i just realized our roster is full but he did decide to go to another team and and hosang would have liked to join so we do have to trade a, a few other guys so i'll do that right now guys we have just buried they're literally not they're literally the worst potentials on our team and they're like 30 years old, so they're not going to do much. Send them the Jets for a seventh round pick. Trade accepted, so there we can go and sign the player that declined. Now, as you guys see, I gave Hosang the same offer, and Hosang did sign, and so he'll peel our fourth line right winger. Guys, we're trying to make a trade with the Detroit Wen Wings. We're trying to send out Corpus Salo, who's playing backup, making 2.8 out of 80. Just trying not to lose him for nothing at free agency. And Toronto's fourth round pick for Alex Medelkovic, who he's making 3 million bucks at an 83. He has like no potential, but he's a medium elite. So I feel like he can do some. Let's see what they say. Trade reject. That's what I thought. I wonder if we get maybe a little more than a fourth. What else do we had? Two fourths. Our fourth and Toronto's fourth. And Corpus Salo for Nadelkovic. Trade rejected. 
What happens if we add a skater that they like with not too much value? Like we could give him Blankenberger. 2377. He could grow though. I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe if we add like two of these guys who probably won't be much. And Detroit would have too many skaters. So maybe if we add like another draft pick. Maybe we'll, do, we'll just do that. If we add another draft pick, maybe like a. What else? We just add another fourth. A fourth next year. Three fourths in Corpus Allo for Nadelkovic. Trade accepted. So there we go. We got Nadelkovic. Just didn't want to lose um, Corpus Allo for nothing. Guys, we're trying to make a trade with the Arizona Coyotes. Trying to send over Elvis Mers Lincolns again. He is our starting goalie, 85, on a cheap deal, $4 million. Well, it's not that cheap, but he's on a pretty good deal for one more year. And he is 27, so he's done growing. I'm trying to get a young player. And the Coyotes want him. We're trying to get back Connor Geeky, high top six forward, 75 overall, 17. He's he's on his entry-level deal. If this goes through, I'm going to go crazy. We have, if Somehow, Mers Lincoln has a little more value. If this goes through, I'm going to go crazy. Trade reject, that's what I thought. If we can get him, though. That'll be pretty crazy. Like, Geek is a really good young prospect. If we get to add, like, maybe, like, a, a third-round pick next year. No way. We literally got Connor Geeky for Mers Lincolns. What a trade. This is the NHL team after showing you all the trades and signings I made. First line, I got Goudreau, Sillinger, and Voracek in a plus five. I would put Line there, but it's only a plus one, so I have Voracek there. Second line's Patrick Line, Boone Jenner, Alex Texier. Third line's Eric Robertson, Emil Benstrom, and Jack Roslovic. Fourth line's Gustav Nyquist, Sean Corrali, with Matthew Oliver, Olivier, Olivier, I think it's French. Defense, we got Wierenski, Good Branson, plus one. Boklis, Gabrikov, Bean, Kukin. Goaltenders, got Nadelkovic starting with Berube back in the I wanted Nadelkovic card because he's medium lean. If he plays good, he can grow, and he's on only a $3 million deal. We have him for two more years. I'll show you guys AHL team because I really think this there's really young players that could really go. First line, I have Kent Johnson, Liam Foody, and... Yegor Chinnikov getting a plus two. Chinnikov's 20, Foodie's 21, and Johnson's 18. So if this guy's girl, Johnson's medium elite, Foodie's high top six, and Chinnikov is high. Sorry, he's medium top six, and Chinnikov is high top six. Beautiful first line. Second line is Stenland with Angle and Fix Wool Wolhinski. Third line is Dolhenskov. With Host Sang and Gaunts. Fourth line's Lapin. Ca Castles. Is there a better player than a 66? 69, sorry. Yeah, there is. There's a Scott who's a 72. Might as well put him in. Just get a minus one, but it's not bad. And then Gerby. I do have him playing for fourth line just because he's 34 and he's not going to grow. Defense, I have Blankenberger with Juracek. We also have Juracek. Medium elite, 76, 17. I do have him with Blankenberger. They're going to minus one, but hopefully it just goes away. Second, we got Simpsons. Peak, he's also young, 23. Low top for defenseman, but I feel like you could grow. And then Callsman and Hershuk. I feel like I said that wrong. And the goal is we've got Ivanov, low elite, 17. And then we have Tarasov, medium starter. So, yeah, I think both, I, to be honest, our NHL team, I kind of want I kind of want to tank it. I kind of want to get a good pick this year in this draft and then next year the next four years to really go for um, a really good NHL Stanley to go for a Stanley Cup so first year NHL I'm trying to tank AHL just trying to make it go as good as again again Johnson Fruity Chinnikov hopefully they're all in the NHL next year so guys I'll sim a month into the year and I'll see I'll show you guys how we're doing guys off camera I have made crazy teams best team has ever made and this is got to be one of the worst starting teams and we have a record at 10 1 and 2 we've literally lost one game in regulation it's got to be this is crazy it's got to be the best start i've ever had and we don't even have a player over a point per game warcheck has got 12 and 13 we're destroying penguins actually are point um we're third in the entire league we're doing really good i don't know we might have to trade someone i think we're doing good too good i want to get a good pick i don't want to make the playoffs so i'm thinking maybe vorchek i mean he's 32 years old 85 he's having a good season but i kind of want to trade him so like 
we'd have that first line, only getting a plus one with Line A, Sillinger, and Goudreau. So I'm probably going to try to find a trade for Jacob Vorchak. To be honest, guys, I was looking the whole time, and I couldn't find a trade for Vorchak. Again, we'd be under the league max ca salary cap, and it was really hard to bring back. So we're going to sim a, a few more months. We're just going to pray that we're not that we don't do good. Here we are, guys. At January 1st, we have a record of 20, 10, and 4. 44 points. We're second in our division. Really, I guess we did do a little worse, but I want to do even worse than this. Line has got 32 and 34. 21 goals, 11 assists. He leads us in points. So I guess we're now we're just going to send to the trade deadline and maybe try to trade someone at the trade deadline to make us worse. Here we are, guys. A day before the trade deadline, we got way worse, but that's what we got. We have a record of 27, 27, and 7, 61 points. We are second last in our division. Line A leads us in points with 54 points in 61 games, 32 goals, 22 assists. So we're getting we're a day from the trade deadline. All we got to do is advance a day. And here we are. We're going to be a conservative seller. Let's enter the trade deadline, see if we can make any trades. Let's see if anyone's on the block on our team. It looks like no, no one on the jackets is on the block. Anyone we want to go for, not really. Varlamov, don't really need him. Our Tyler Sagan's big contract is there. Ranta, Haig, Kerfoot, Grubauer, Eller, Sherry. Bernier and the one the only Paul Stastny so I'm probably just going to tr try to trade one of my players to get worse other than that I'm probably only going to make one trade guys we're trying to make a trade with the Buffalo Sabres trying to trade away Boone Jenner he's got a one year left at 3.7 actually in a pretty good tr contract I just want you know wanted it get worse he's 20 he's done growing we're trying to get a second round pick from the Sabres and Cody Eakin and Clegg just to make it go through let's see what they say Take it forever to go through. Trade rejected. I'm actually surprised because we're kind of taking back two guys who shouldn't be making that much money. I mean, I'll take a third and a fourth. What about a third and a fourth? No. What about just a third? It goes through. So we get a third round pick for Boone Jenner. Not a bad trade. Guys, Jacob Middleton is on waivers. He's an 80 overall, 26, high top six defenseman, only making 7RK. He's on an expiring deal, but I think that's a pretty good claim off of waivers. We'll take him any day of the week. So I'll show you guys all the trades that happened. I just found out that you could do it out of it, so you don't have to, um, like, just stay the whole time so you can see the trades. So Dallas got Calvin DeHaan from the Hawks. For two thirds, Minnesota got Berchi and two thirds for I guess that's a prospect in the sixth. The Ducks got Eller and a third from the Caps for a two prospects. The Golden Knights got Hathaway and a second for a second, fifth, and Primo. Uh, the Coyotes got Faber a fourth for a th thir two thirds in Bukestad. The Avs got Galchenik and Strawman. For a second and a third, Jost and a second to the Sharks for Jonathan Dahlin. That's a really good prospect. Eakin, oh, that's our trade. We Again, you guys know we gave them Boone Jenner. Well, Montreal gets a first, a second, and a prospect for Kirby Doc, Coilette, and Pitlick from the Canadians. Yeah, that's a, probably the biggest trade that's going to happen. I'm just going to scroll through and see if there's any other trades. Wow. Caden Primo, Matthew Perot, Chris Weidman to the Canadians. Sorry, to the Panthers. And the Canadians get a first round pick. Wow. But it's probably going to be later. Cause, and then Hag and McNabb to the Wild for two prospects and a fifth. So, yeah. Not a really active trade deadline. The really only big trade was two Montreal ones, actually. It was the um, Kirby Doc one and the Caden Primo one. So. The team after training Boone Jenner, I haven't even checked the lines yet. I don't think they're really good. Like, they're pretty bad. I'm going to probably put Ross Levick second line center. Other than that, the lines are the same. So, yeah, I'll see if there's any growth. The finger drill was still in 92. Cylinder still in 81. Line A went up two. He's now in 88. I don't think anyone else grew. I think they're all the same. Defense, 
Bulkfuss is now an 83, but I don't know why they don't like each other. Bean's up to an 81. So Bean grew one on the bottom pair. And then goaltenders, Dovkovich didn't grow, but he actually has pretty good numbers. And he's now down to a medium starter, but still not a bad goaltender. So yeah, I'll sim to the end of the year, see our final record and how the players did. Guys, at the end of the season, we finished with a record of 38-36-8 for 84 points, finishing 6th in our division. So we won't be getting a really good pick, but we get in a middle-round pick. Line A finished our team with the most points, 70 points in 82 games, 41 goals, and 29 assists. So a pretty decent season for Patrick Line on a pretty crappy team. Coming in second is Gaudreau, only 68 points. Again, it is medium score scoring engine so next episode i might change it to high Gaudreau next and then wrensky 63 is actually pretty good he's definitely gonna grow Texier even 52 is pretty good he was playing third line Vorchek only 49 it was a minus 27 i don't know we we might even buy him out at this point rossovic 44 not bad cylinder 35 but yeah let's go check out the whole league and see how everyone did who had the most scoring in the league, Jason Robertson, 98. Huberta, also 98. In the Flames, Landis Gung, 97. Pavelski, so the Stars must have did good. McDavid, 93. Bergeron put up 89. That's a really good year for him. Again, the As must have did. Again, Landis Gung, 97. McCarr had 88. And McKinnon had 86. Let's go see who was the best goaltender in the NHL. It was Jack Campbell, most wins. With 46, who had the best save percentage from a starter? It was either Allmark or Quick, and they're tied with 922 save percentage. And who had the best goals against average? It would have been. If I'm not wrong, Allmark's a starter. If it, if it doesn't count, Quick would literally win the Vezina. And let's go. I actually forgot to check the defenseman. Let's see who had the most. Points as a defenseman. Uh, Kale McCarr, 88. Totally forgot about him. Doughty, second. And then you'll see third. I actually want to check out rookies because I, I never look at rookie skaters. I just never do. Lucas Raymond, 79 points. Wow, had more points than Line A and Goudreau. He'll probably be winning the Calder. Jarvis next. McTavish. The saver of the gold medal for Canada. Rob stopped the goal. Tanner Janot, Trevor Zegers. So McTavish and Zegers must have been an, a good duo for Anaheim. McTavish is an 80, and Zegers is an 85. So they must have did really good to, together. So, yeah, those are all the stats. Again, we missed the playoffs. So I guess we'll sim to um, the start of the off season. I'll tell you guys who won the Stanley Cup. Guys, I actually skipped through the whole thing, but here are the retired players. Thornton retires with 1,500 points. Zdeno Chaira, Shea Weber, that's literally pretty much the only players. Check if there's any goaltenders who retired. There weren't. So pretty much only three really big name players who retired. And I actually pretty much simmed the whole next year. I pushed off red draft interviews. As you guys can see at the bottom, the Colorado Avalanche went back-to-back. And won the Stanley Cup. I'll show you guys who they went through. And then the stats. The Avs beat the Canucks in five. Swept the Blues. Beat the, beat the Oilers in five. And then beat the Senators in seven to win the Stanley Cup. So, yeah, it's kind of... They did beat the Oilers in the Western Conference Finals and the Blues in the second round. That's kind of funny. Kind of what they did in real life. I'll show you guys the uh, player stats. Just quickly, uh, Batherson, 31 points. Stutzler, 26, 25 for DeMarcus. So yeah, they did really good. Wow. Giroux, Shabbat, Kachuk, McKinnon with 22. Wow, so the Senators cleaned that up. McKinnon only the next one. Let's see how goaltenders did. Francois, 9.05 Saber Centers, 2.66 goals against. Yeah, the Avs, again, they won the Stanley Cup again. I'll show you guys the awards, and then, again, we'll be next season again. They won the Cup. President's Trophy, they also won the President. I, I I always forget to check the standings. They won the President's Trophy. They won the Clarence, obviously, and then the Prince of Wales went to the Senators. And let's check on 
Art Ross went to Robertson. Hart went to Landeskog. The Norris went to Macar. The Lady Bing to Huberto. The Calder did go to Raymond. Cons might went to Lekkonen. Vesna went to Bennington. I must have missed them. William Jennings was also Bennington. Hank and Pa won the Bill Masterton. Best coach was the Detroit head coach. Selkie was Couch Couturier. Ted Lindsay was Landeskog. And Maurice Richard was a Vanderkade. Also forgot to check that. I don't know why I forget to check so many things. But yeah, we're in the off season. I forgot. Got to show you guys the draft order. Again, you guys you guys will see, but I totally forgot to check it. I just pushed X because I said it was just the pop-up, but it was really the draft order. I just pushed X. So I'll show you guys. Wow! I didn't even know! We got the first and the second overall pick! You're kidding! How did we get the first and the second? Oh my gosh, you are kidding. We had the first and the second overall pick. I didn't even notice. Let's go. We get the first and second overall pick. It was a surprise for me too. And the, it's just going to be made up, guys, because um, the actual draft already went. So it's a gem. It's guaranteed medium elite. We'll just go for Bobby Kessler, a nice left winger. Is this this guy's our, next guy's a right winger. But, yeah, I think we got to go Bobby Kessler, but... That is crazy. Before we pick them, I actually want to see if there's any steals in the draft. But that's crazy. I don't think there is really. They're just the top five players. No really steals. But yeah, again, we're going to go Kessler. First overall pick. Again, I don't know how we got first and second. Bobby Kessler. 84 medium elite. He'll literally be on our NHL team. And we also get the second, just because our team, like, but I feel like we're going to be good. I think we're going to have to pick on uh, the next guy. Right winger, if he's a defenseman, what's the next defenseman pick? A left defenseman, he's guaranteed medium elite, he's a gem. I might want to take a defenseman because defensemen are really hard to get. Even though, Leaky, we have a, le we have a left winger, we could have a right winger. I don't know, this is tough. Do we go Malkin or what? Maybe we could trade up to four and get um Malkin. So I think we're we're gonna try to trade up to four, just because I don't know. I feel like Malkin would be the better choice. I oopsies, I gotta go in to make the trade. But yeah, I, a defenseman would be really nice to help with the team. The second overall pick, and we can definitely get something back. So again, we have it has more value than the fourth. We're going back, so we could probably get something back. Um, is there anything really? Faber, we'll check by potential if they have anything. Chikorin, Kuli Gunther, like we're not gonna get low elite. There's the seventy-seven twenty Doan. Doesn't look that bad if we can get Doan back. So Doan, we're dropping four spots. Trade accepted. So like. Pretty much just traded picks. Let's sim the pick. Do they go with that mall? Are you kidding me? They took Malkin. That is tough. And we won a Pelic 83. That is just not that good. This guy was supposed to go second, though. He's not guaranteed anything, but I bet you he's medium elite. Logan Lethe. You're kidding me. 86 and medium elite. We have an 83 or medium elite and 86. Okay, maybe it wasn't a bad choice at all. Next, we have a second round pick at 44. We got an 86 and 84 medium elite at pick 1 and 4. Maybe it was a good choice going with the right winger. Next pick. This guy's probably medium top 6. Oh, this guy's probably low elite. We'll go for him. He's probably low elite. And he is low elite. 71 low elite. It's probably a good pick in the second round. Next, we have the third round pick. Well, I still can't believe we got an 86 and an 84. Sort of by potential, because we're kind of just guessing at this point. Wow, this this is guaranteed low elite. Made till long. He's not going to pick till like 200, so we'll pin him. Well, we'll just probably go for one of these guys. We'll go, he's supposed to get picked. He's Colby, hey. Hopefully he's medium late. Medium fringe. 
Wow, next pick is 77. So that guy's that low elite supposed to go at 200, right? If I'm not wrong. I just want to check quickly so I don't forget. Yeah, he's supposed to go at 200. So that's like the seventh round pick. It's a really good pick. Uh, this guy could go medium elite. We'll give him a chance. There he is, medium elite 48. So we do get a medium elite in the third round. Now we don't have a pick till the seventh round. It's 199, so we'll get our low elite here. So a really good draft, actually. So here's our low, guaranteed low elite. What's his name? Like Mr. Long, Mateo Long, guaranteed low elite. He is only 48 overall, but can't get mad mad 208 that's also in the seventh round this is i think this is our last pick in the draft but i still can't believe we got an 86 84 medium elite those guys are really gonna help out the team sorted by potential to be honest i think i'm just gonna go for this goalie could be medium starter medium fringe we have another pick but i'm just gonna sim it I'll let the computer pick. <laughs> Maybe they got lucky somehow. But yeah, really, we Kessler, we got, he's 84 medium elite, and Lee, Lee I is 80, 86 medium elite. Literally, he was as good as Lining when he started the season. I still can't believe we picked up those two guys. They are going to help out the team so much next year. Again, this was the year they, we were trying to tank, and next year, we are going to try to, the next three years, we're going to try to win, sorry, four years, we're going to try to win the Stanley Cup. We have a, only $11 million cap space because we, you know, we kind of, you know, extended everyone. Every Everyone should be extended. Other than Kukin, who's an 80, he wants 1.4. That's not the worst. Stunlin, if we can get him cheap. Wow, he wants 1.3. What about... What we might as well just give him his 1.3. He's an RFA. We could have held on, but whatever. Clegg 2478. Why do they want so much K? We'll do the 900K for one year. We'll do 900K for one year. There we go. Hopefully, accepts that. Blankenberger. Two years at 900K. I'll definitely do that. 20, the Doan guy, who we got traded two years at 800K, low elite. He'll play HL. Cody Eakin, he's 31. We're just going to let him go. We just got him in that trade. Carlson, I don't know if we're going to bring back. This medium elite, we got Jura. Oh, it's Jura check. Um, so, yeah, we're going to sign our two guys, obviously. We're going to sign them. 86-18. I still can't believe when they're on entry-level deals. For three years. And that guy has a lot of X factors. Does this guy have X factors? He does too. Wow. So we're in a sim a day. Hopefully everyone signs. Clegg signs. Blankenberger signs. Stenlin signs. Doan signs. Kessler signs. And Lee I signs. So this is good goaltending. We could get Baribe back, but he's 30. I think it's just better to go for another one. 66 23. I mean, he is 66, 23, medium starter. We'll give him two years at 700K. I'll we'll wait to see if he signs. And he does accept, so two more years. This guy is medium elite, but I think we're just going to let him, you know, play. Other than that, we got everyone signed. This should be a really good year. So we're going to sim to free agency again. There shouldn't be anyone really big in free agency because they're pretty much all extended. And, um, because, you know, next year already happened, so everyone pretty much should be signed, other than, like, a few guys, like Bergeron, he will not be here anymore, he signed already with the Bruins for another year, I think it was, Krejci, he's also back on the Bruins, so we have 11 million dollars in cap space, the best player available is Evan Rodriguez in an 84, why need her back? 82 wants a 900k at a 20 year old. I think we have to go for him. First, I just want to check how many players we have. Because again, we could go for a goaltender. I just want to see our contracts and see how many players we have. Just so I can get an idea. So, centers, we only have three centers. That's not good. A center we really need. Good Left wingers, we have Goudreau, Kessler, the guy we got. 
You have Texier and Johnson, who's probably going to play NHL. Right wingers, we got Line A. Lee, I still can't believe we got him. I kind of... How much... We can't even buy a mode, I guess, currently. And then we also have Rosovic and Chinkov guy. Defenseman, we have Warensky, who's now 90. Bolquist, 84. So we got defensemen. We also got Middleton, who we signed off of waivers. And then goaltenders, we do have two goaltenders, but... Oh, Milkovic did go up in, in rating by one. So, the number one thing we need, and I'm telling you, it's a centerman. We Our literally best center, I think it's Cole Sillinger or something. So, I don't think there's any good centermans. Yeah, the best center is an 81, no, sorry, 82 Niederback. He'll actually make the team, so I'm definitely going to offer him a contract. And what about if we give him a one year? He wants three years at... Yeah, we can't move it, so, like, if it's two ways, he, he wants 1.75 for, we can't even offer him that. I don't know why he does that. Unless I don't understand the rules or something, but we c can only offer him a certain amount of money. We can offer him 950k for three years, even though he wants way more than that. He's n obviously not going to accept. Other than that, we'll see if there's any good potential guys. Niederback was the best. Well, 73, 20, it's not bad, but I, I don't know if I'm going to sign him. See if there's any goaltenders that we can kind of steal. 70, 25, high starter, but the thing is, he's already 25. 20, 72, blong fist. We'll give him, we'll give him a try. Maybe he'll s grow into some, so we're probably going to make a trade for a centerman next year, and then hopefully we're good after that. So, yeah, we're probably just going to sim to the next season. Pretty much done with everything. And, again, Niederback, no. He goes with the Lightning. Blancfist appreciates, but he goes with the Stars. So, yeah, that's every once in a while. I'll sim to next year, and I'll get you guys back when I'll show you guys the lines. Guys, I just got offered a trade from the Vegas Golden Knights. I want to give us Stevenson, who's only making 2.7 out of 84, and he's the centerman. What we need, we're getting back two fours for a second and a third. I think that's a pretty good deal. And I'm definitely going to accept because we really do need centers. So, guys, this is the team for next season. First line, Gaudreau, Stevenson, Line. They are getting a zero, but a really good first line. Second line, Lee Johnson, Kessler getting a plus five. So, three new players to the squad. Third line, you have Alex Tetsia, Cole Sillinger, Jacob Vorchek getting a plus three. And then we got Ross Levick, Foodie. Nike fist. We're probably gonna trade Nike fist because he's an 80, making five and a half. We can get cap space. Defense. We got Warensky, Brandstrom plus one. We got Boke fist, Gabrikov, and then we got Bean and Middleton. And goaltenders. We got Nedeljkovic. Is a medium sturdy. He's now an 85 overall with Ivan. We're probably gonna get a bit of age, but he is low elite, so he'll probably be AHL starter. But I really like the team this year. Special teams. I actually didn't edit the power play, but I'm guessing it's really good. I don't know why Line isn't on the first power play unit. That is really weird. So yeah, that looks pretty good unless unless Stevenson can get up there. We both get plus three, so I think I'm gonna do that. Just, or actually, I want to keep Johnson just because he gets better rated. Bokefist, I want him playing defense. Kessler's a left winger, so we put him there. I think we're gonna do that. Lee I is an 88. Then Stevenson, Kessler. Or we could put. Because Kessler is a left winger. He's 18. I'm going to swap him for Vorchek just because he's young and he can grow. And then the second one's now Lee I, Stevenson, Vorchek, Rossovic, Boquist. It's going to plus three. So it makes the chemistry better. So yeah, guys, that'll be the team for next season. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Before we do that, I'm going to set our captains. I don't know if they were set automatically last year. If they were, I'll just switch them. Gaudreau, as much as I want him captain, I'm not going to put him captain. We're gonna. I think we're going to have to give the captain to Wierenski. I think he deserves it. And we're going to have um, Line A with Gaudreau wearing the assistance. I think I just... Captain's got to go Wierenski. So yeah, guys, that'll do it for episode number one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget that like button, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you will get notified when we have new See you guys later. Peace!